had a feeling Generate Blocks would eventually come around to building out some kind of mega menu builder, but I had no idea it would be this powerful or easy to use. It's part of the new overlay panels feature, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can build out an entire mega menu using only the blocks and WordPress menu systems that you're used to. If that sounds interesting to you, then stick around and let's get started. First off, I should mention that I'm using a pre-alpha release of Generate Blocks Pro 2.3. This is what introduces all the new functionality. Now this is gonna go through the full set of alpha and beta phases, so what you see when you have your hands on a copy might be slightly different than what I share on my screen today. But once you update to 2.3, here in the Generate Blocks menu, you're gonna notice two new menu items. First is overlay panels, and the second is conditions. Now we're gonna take a look at conditions in another video. I think this is a sneaky good feature that could eventually eliminate the need for plugins like block visibility and help you with things like personalization, making your site much more dynamic. But right now we're gonna focus on the overlay panels. So we'll go ahead and click into that screen. And here you'll see we're starting off with a blank slate, but this page is where you can add and manage all your panels. You'll see later on in the video that you don't have to come to this page to do all that. There are some more convenient ways to do it, but here we need to go ahead and create our first overlay panel. We do have a drop down menu here that will allow us to choose our panel type between standard, anchored, and mega menu, but you can just click the add new button and change those panel types at any time. We'll go ahead and add a new one here and we'll call it services mega menu. If we look over here in the settings panel, you'll see we have a new tab here for overlay panel. And this is where all the settings for our overlay panel are gonna live. Like I said, we can change that panel type once we've created the panel. And here's the dropdown for standard, anchored, and mega menu. Now, depending on what panel type you select, the settings below it can change. They're all kind of context dependent on the panel type, but we're gonna go ahead and select mega menu. The next option here is our categories. Right now you'll see there are no categories in our list, but we can quickly add a category from the screen as well. Now categories don't affect the look or functionality of your panels. They're just a way for you to keep things organized on the back end, which might be helpful if you have a lot of different overlay panels on one site. The next are our display conditions. Like I said, we're not gonna be exploring that in this video, but I will be doing another video on the overlay panel system where we'll take a look at these display conditions. So for now, we'll just leave it on no condition. Next on the list is our placement options. If I drop this down, you'll see we have bottom left, bottom center, top left, top center, and so on. Now this is a mega menu that's gonna drop down from our main navigation. I wanna go ahead and set this to bottom center, but you can play around with these different placement options. This does have some level of edge detection built in, so it will place these in appropriate places so that they don't fly off the screen. But we know we want this to be a mega menu, so we want the placement of it to be at the bottom of our menu, and I wanna center it in my screen. Now, if you did wanna position this to something else, you can position it to a parent directly by putting in the selector of the parent here inside this field. By default, the mega menu is gonna kind of know where to behave, so I'm just gonna leave this blank for the time being. Underneath that, we have all of our animation options for both animating in and animating out. In here, we have the options for all the fades and slides from every direction. And I found in playing around that I really like the mega menu to fade in up as it comes in and then fade out down as it leaves. So I'm gonna go ahead and select those as my options. Next, we have the animation duration. By default, it does have a nice animation duration already set on it. But if you wanted to make that faster or slower, you can change that here in milliseconds. I like the default, so I'm just gonna leave that blank and let it fall back. Similarly, we can change the animation distance. So if you want this to fade or slide in from a long distance, you could change this from the default one rim to maybe 500 pixels. You can put any valid CSS unit in this, but again, I think the default works pretty well, so I'm just gonna leave this at one rim. Next, we have the hover buffer. This is just kind of an invisible zone around whatever you're hovering to trigger this mega menu, and it just gives you a little bit bigger of a target to aim for. 
This goes all the way down to zero pixels and all the way up to 100, but in my testing, I found that this default of 20 pixels works pretty well, feels intuitive on the front end, and doesn't get in the way of other elements, so I'm gonna leave it here on 20. And then lastly at the bottom, we have our width mode where you can choose between max content or full width. Now by default, your panels will be set to fit the content within them, meaning they'll only be as wide as they need to be to accommodate whatever's inside. But you can also select full width, which will of course make your menu span the full width of your screen. I'm gonna go ahead and select full width for our design, but I'm gonna restrict my menu width to the content width of my site, which I'll show you here in just a bit. Now our mega menu is all configured and all we need to do is build out what we want in it. I think one of the key benefits to the way Generate implemented this mega menu system is that it didn't introduce new blocks for you to have to learn. Instead, you just get to use all the blocks you're already familiar with, with just a little bit of new functionality baked in. This makes the learning curve a whole lot less steep. All the containers and buttons and links that you're used to building with work inside the mega menu. But more than that, you can use third-party blocks inside your mega menu as well, which means these are just as flexible as any page or post you could build with the system before. If you wanna drop in a form from WS Form, that's no problem. If you wanna add some kind of video embed, you're welcome to do that too. Now, because you're probably already familiar with seeing how things are built in Generate Blocks, I'm not gonna waste time in this video actually building out the mega menu. I'm just gonna paste in something that I already created so we can get it all configured and working so you'll know how to use the mega menus going forward. I'll go ahead and paste that in now so you can see what the design looks like. But before we go attach this to our menu, I wanna show you how I restricted the width since we selected full width. If we pop open the list view here, you'll see I have a container that wraps my entire mega menu. And since we have all the controls over here for styling things, I've just gone down to my max width and set this to be my sites container global max width. So that's just this button here with the globe on it. And that will just make sure that the container for my mega menu is no wider than the rest of my sites content width. That's just my preference for the style of this mega menu, but of course it would look great if it was full width too, so you'll just have to make that determination based on the layout you're trying to achieve. Now let's go ahead and publish this mega menu and we can hop back into the admin dashboard so we can attach it to our menu. All we have to do is attach this mega menu to the menus we're already used to building in WordPress, so to get there we'll go under appearance and then menus. Now I've already created this menu here, and since we're creating a services mega menu, I can open up the dropdown for the services link in my menu. And what you'll see here is a new dropdown option for mega menu. And when I open that up, you'll see our services mega menu that we created. Now this is important to remember that the panel type you select has to be mega menu in order for it to show up on the screen. But all we have to do now is select that services mega menu, and we can scroll down to the bottom and save. Now we can go view our mega menu on the front end. So here on the front end, we'll just go up to our menu and I'll hover over that services link and there's our mega menu right away. Everything's working perfectly and all we had to do was select this mega menu from the dropdown in the typical WordPress menus. There's not a whole lot of fancy things to do in that, which means there's not a whole lot of new things to learn, which is great. Now, if you wanted to go in and make tweaks to this mega menu, you do have an overlay panels link here inside the admin bar. And here you can see the only panel we created, which is that services mega menu. If I click into that, it will take us right back into the editor where I can keep making tweaks. Now there's one disclaimer I need to add in here, and that's that the mega menu only works if you're using the generate blocks navigation block. They just introduced that in the last release, and I know a lot of you haven't updated your site to use that system yet. So if you're still using the old generate press way to set up your site header, you're gonna need to upgrade that to the new generate block system in order to get this mega menu working. Now I've already done a video on how to configure your site header using Generate Blocks, so I'll make sure that that pops up here in a second. But for now, let's go take a look at how it's set up on this demo site that I'm working with. Here, you can see I actually created my header by using the Generate Press Elements feature. If we click into that, we can edit the header here using the site header block as well as the navigation block. So if your website isn't set up using this system, the mega menu will not work. You're gonna need to upgrade into using this system in order to get the mega menu functionality. I teased earlier there's an easier and even more convenient way to get to all your overlay panels. So while we're here in the editor, let me show you. Now this is gonna work on any page, post, or in this case, an element by clicking the little generate blocks icon at the top right of the screen. From here, you have your manage overlay panels. If I click on that, it will bring up a list of all my overlay panels and I can click into any of them to start editing them right here without leaving the screen. 
you'll see there's a full instance of the editor wrapped inside a modal that's inside the editor. Now this isn't something I've seen done before inside the block editor, but it seems to be working great and it's really, really quick. So if we wanted to make a quick change to our menu, we can do that from right here. Go ahead and save those changes, close out that modal, and we're back into our working area and we never had to leave. Like I said, that's a whole lot more convenient than going back into the back end of the site and getting back to that overlay panels area. Being able to build out mega menus inside the Generate ecosystem is something that people have been asking for for a long time now, and I think Generate Blocks knocked this out of the park. The fact that we can build out our mega menus using all the same systems and blocks that we're already used to building with means the sky's really the limit with the design. We only scratched the surface here, but I've got all kinds of cool videos planned on different kind of mega menus we can build. I do want to mention that adding mega menus to your site can introduce a lot of accessibility issues. Now the Generate team has gone to great lengths to make sure that your mega menus get inserted into your WordPress menu in the right place and have all the right tags, but because you pretty much have a blank slate as to what you can build inside, it's really easy to make a mess of things. And the navigation is one of those places that becomes really difficult for people who are using keyboards to navigate your site or using a screen reader. If you don't set these things up right, you can really make your site difficult to use. Now in today's video, I just wanted to show you how to get the mega menu system working, so we just pasted in a template that I already created. However, in future videos, I want to go through building out the entire contents of the menu step by step, so we can talk about some of the accessibility considerations you're going to need to think about, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can see that video. But for now, I've created another video that goes over the entire overlay panel system as well as the condition system, which should be popping up on your screen now. Hopefully you got something out of this video today. If you have any questions or if there's something specific you'd like to see me build, make sure to put that down in the comments below. Before you leave, go ahead and drop a like on this video and then you can go check out that next one.